for existence. Aram in Europe finds herself so little of a priority than in the other two regions, as now it's going to be immediate lock-in with the Yorn, as we have ourselves a Yorn side lane. I really like that. Yorn versus Valheim. Because you, this is something, the Pura Genar combo is something we have not seen enough of, but we've always seen it as the beginning of a death ball. You always go for the combo and then roll it through for the damage that it provides, and we've never really seen people use it as a front line. So this is that. You cannot rush down a Yorn playing from behind the safety of a Pura Jinnor. Uh, Jinnor, who's very, very position intensive. You need to be in the right position prior to a team fight to play a good Jinnor. Well, speaking of being in a good position, oh. um, Chicky Tin. He's not. No, no, very <laughs> much not so. He just wandered right on in. We did actually see a great gank, though, a good follow up, so trading out kills. But it is going to be a two for one when things are done now, in addition to what we have in the jungle. We have this Nair oh. going in, though. Lilu is going to be the target. Up against the Injunct Splinter is coming in, trying to retreat now as exits is both. Here comes the Exuberance, the shock in the back as Jauki's trying to split the fight. Rez dealing damage from afar. But Bamboo needs to try and follow up, needs to try and get some DPS, but it's not enough! As we do have, you were saying? Yeah. The counter to pressure as well. We see Lilu scale up. Jauki needs to run. <gasps> that stun, though, from Blue Triton, exactly predicting where the Malleus was going to go through. The Blue Triton tanking up, oh, or the minion tanking up the snipe as well. So while there's going to be a pick and a tower up top, there is going to be a tower uh, in, in exchange right now in the mid. Existence actually looking really solid. They need to get out right now. Oh, Bamboo's gone. Bamboo has badly overextended. As existence needs to hold onto this tower, but we do have the Mali is going to look to initiate oh. now his dark breaker, the fall from the shield. The, oh, the exuberance is there from Shirko, the shield as well, taking up all the damage from the Triton. We do have the Nature Sentry going in, but no follow up. As Lulu's on the flank, but the drone drop, but not going to. Uh, yeah, he got it. That was intentional, I think. Oh. I think that was intentional. I'm trying to work it out. Oh, they had, he set it up for him intentionally. That's why, Lulu, that's Lulu why intentionally Lulu wasn't killing him. him. Oh, that's actually... I think the idea is you give Rez that buff. He, of course, then has kind of a slow, and that helps greatly. I would have loved to see a lot more pressure on that Drake, as is. Now Bubble Team can begin to push forward in earnest. One high ground tower remains. One tower remains for existence. So much sustainability is memorized. Keeping them in this. We do have to initiate, though. And there's the follow-up. Lilu is going to be taken down by Bamboo. But that's not nearly enough because the rest of the team is getting chunked. The Nature's Rally is keeping them CC'd into the ground. And that is going to be GG. Game number one is going uh, oh, or it's Shirko's Tulin. Shirko's Tulin. We've seen this one time and time again in the Valor series, so they now lock in the Tulin as well as the Yorn for the side lane and an immediate lock in on the Joker. This is a very different competition from an existence. Break this down for me. And now in the mid, Dark Breaker's in trouble. Beautiful knock up there from Bamboo. Oh. The uppercut is there. Give him the old one to his existence with a beautiful gank. Perfect. And Memorize can do nothing but contest, which means a rotate comes through top lane. Jauki's in trouble. There's the Death's Embrace, but the stun from Jauki is there. He has the oh. red. He's able to bring him right back, and he survives him. Bamboo on Bamboo. the flank, the uppercut. Dark Breaker's there with the Unchuffable, but she continues to be like to follow up. The calling is going to be going for Juki. Can he survive this? And it is going to be able to get out somehow, Dark Breaker, the heal from Memorize. Significantly in their favor. Juki with the Jukes up in the top. The Death's Embrace was there. He needs to not. Oh. He needs Straight to too close to that. Straight too close to the sun in that instance. Rez, though, <gasps> survives the can laughter. As the fight is going in, we are going to see Darkbreaker. <laughs> I um, don't, they didn't kill each other. The tower chimed in. That is Yorn, but look at the flight coming in. Bamboo is going to be here. The nice Dark Dominion finding two is Chicky Tid, but Rez on the flank, trying to get Rez out. He's able to flicker over it, and there's oh. the nature trial and keep them alive through all of it. The additional armor of the Cypher is going to go through. Rez not able to, he's not going to go down. Massive right now. They are looking for another flank, though. It's Bamboo. He finds Memorize in the back. That's the uppercut. But Shurko's going to look to shut him down, but he doesn't find it. Rez misses the snipe. That was absolutely huge. Both of these teams are firing on all cylinders. Bamboo will barely recall in time. Darkbreaker in the meantime grabs top lane, and Lilu, Lilu's coming through. Lilu finds them in the jungle right there, in the river, in the bush. Chicky Tim with the beautiful block. We're there, and I dare say they've activated. Uh, they are looking so... Oh, oh, Bamboo with the snipe! I don't know if he got he the didn't, dragon. He didn't. Bubble he didn't get the, the dragon. dragon. 
but he he's looking did to bait find the, the kill. He's looking to bait the team out right now. Wall goes back into the spear, but he actually baited Blue Trident. There's the follow up. Jauki not able to dodge it in time. Bamboo is now running through the bait. He's going to go training with Dark Breaker, but there's the right the follow up with the snipe as well. And Bamboo actually takes him down. Shirko is now overextended. There's the follow up. Jauki, Reds is trying to survive through this, but they actually get the kill as well. Jauki's now back. He pops the support at him as well. Essence of the Winners can be there to keep him alive, but Chicken didn't sell him full retreat. Shirko's going to drive. Can they get through this? And he is going to survive. No! no! Raz says no! Lilu actually pulling in there and sniping out the red buff. Roids! Ho oh. And Rez actually takes the stun as well, so Blue Trident's yeah. gonna fall. That's a long stun. Essence of the Wind's gonna be popped to try and keep it back up in this, but Shirko's gonna look to try and bait him in. Bamboo went Surely way not. too far. <gasps> Surely yes, says Bamboo! Is in their gaze. The next team fight, right? Shirko, that's good pressure. I like his flank. He sees the players retreating and goes, they're low. I can flank this with high mobility. That was exactly what he needed to do. That means that they cannot contest this right now. And this is actually the perfect time for Rebel Team to get back in this fight. We do see Jauki trying to split it here as Chikitin's going as well. There's the Dark Dominion. Blue Triton nicely done, pulling him right back into the stun. But the Nature's Rally is keeping it through. The Shirko on the flank. Blue Triton is giving me the target. This is the one keeping him alive. That is the Death Beckon's going to miss it for Dark Breakers. They're going back in the spear. He's going to fight Memorize. He's going to keep him back. And all the while, the drone drop. Blue on the flank. But Bamboo has returned. He's going to keep his team alive. Eight, uh, eight. This is a very even game in terms of gold. Both of these teams, the carries are looking solid, but look at this is Bamboo on the flank right now. He's going in, he's trying to set something Rez. up. He finds Rez instant deletion. <laughs> he got tired of chewing on Bamboo and he decided to hit people with it. It's been working very well. Shirko will now push forward though. They have a trade. <gasps> Chicky oh. Tin is there to soak up the Thunderbird, but Lilu is on the flank. Brute Triton survives <gasps> though. They, no, I lied. They, they at least traded. Him. They traded have had some struggles in the late game, but this is really them coming online. Oh, if that Scythe had connected, Rez is still in a lot of trouble. He does have the additional healing, but Bamboo overextends. Chicky Tin is there, but he's just gone. We saw a beautiful drone drop from Lee Lewis, the rest of the side. A bubble team is pushing in as well, trying to follow up there. Jauki is in way too deep, not able to get the kills. They're chasing Roids under the core, oh. and he baits them out right now. Beautifully done. Dark Breaker is going to be back. He does have the Rez, but the high ground tower is going to pick the part. They do the minion way. He's going to be pushing into the core, and Roids trying to heal up enough in the base to take down the mini wave, but that is going to be two, and that is going to be it. GG, game number two going to Bubble Team.